proposal right. guys Matt here and welcome to my next Matt unboxing and this time it is finally something new something I have been waiting for for quite some time and it is in fact this this is um, what I want to unpack today um, this is my uh, order from uh, the US as you can most definitely see um, this um sorry i got the windows uh, partly open uh simply because you know it's been very hot in here and i'm not gonna close my windows in the evening really so i'm gonna open it from the bottom open it from the bottom simply because uh it's easier to open here <laughs> uh here we go yes so uh opening has been finished and that's the video no no, no I'm kidding um, in this case it is these two very nicely packed packages here uh, of cards again so these are my Cantalot Knights display. So, Cantalot Knights displays, I ordered two of them. Um, these are single cards I ordered on top, not that important. So, um, Cantalot Knights displays, we're gonna open it here. I am expecting no more, no more than two ultra rares per display due to my track record of opening four displays with only two ultra rares each. So, I am expecting two though. I uh, would be very unlucky to have only one in a month. So, let's see how this turns out. Um, Candle of Night displays just the same as the um, previously known um, premiere displays of the first edition. Same packaging, same sturdy and stubborn plastic. You die now. Yes. Here we go. Aha. So first display plastic has been moved. So um, 36 boosters, but each having 12 cards in them. So um, we're gonna put them up here. Oh, how lovely! It's lovely. Um, this is how the display looks like. Um, if you completely, you know, make it this, 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 here, yeah. Um, from the design aspect here, I think I like the other one with its mostly purple and uh, blue and white style a little bit better than this, which has many forms of red, which are a little bit biting to the uh, purple of the My Little Pony, in my opinion. So, well, let's just open them up. First boost, as I usually do, first booster on the um, on the uh, right hand side is this booster. So they open up very quickly, and um, we have purple waters, Coco Pomel, which was the pre-release card, in Dark Moon. I'm immediately going to sort them into their colors. A Stitch in Time, which is a problem. Rainbow Blaze. Fine Line. Perfect Pace. Apple Bucking Day. And my rare is Shining Armor, Captain of the Guard. DBBFF. That's the rare. Uh, Uncommons are Monstrous Cave, which um, 
helps you search for troublemakers, um, which is very nice since um, that actually comes in handy and gives the rainbow much more flexibility. I got a golden ticket, which I have so far. That's like for two, you can play a friend, bring it back, uh, put it into play and the end of a friend uh, and uh, banish him and dark dank dungeon dark dank dungeon is a problem first booster first booster on the left hand side starts with hungry hungry house guests common card white <laughs> it's pegasus whitewash Starry Eyes, Lightning Dust, one of the newer Troublemakers, Vittles Stand, A Fiery Temper, A Stitch in Time again, Mrs. Cake, and the rare is a Troublemaker changeling infiltrator when you play this card to a problem you may retire a friend here to uncover the card and when it uncovers all players shovel the discard person to the deck so that is uh giving you that back then we have biff pow as an uncommon rarity dragon charmer you know the rarity dragon charmer of the boxes this is the one out of the displays Oh, that goes here. And Hoof Wrestling, which is one of the uh, dual, the new face of dual cards. In this case, um, winner looks at the opponent's hand, chooses a card, the player discards a card. So it's choose and discard a card from the player's hand if you win the face off. So this must have a. Uh, I turned it around and I immediately saw that one of the cards is in fact a main character because the back side is not plain. So monstrous manual, out of control, another purple waters, another cocoa pomel, dark moon, a stitch in time, it's the third one in three boosters. Rainbow Blaze. Fine line. And the rare is Doctor Who's just in time. That's the new Doctor Who's card. Then Impressor Inspector as an uncommon problem. And Twilight Sparkle Gar Gala Greeter is the main character. Let's see? As an uncommon. And we got a major problem as a Pinkie Pie Uncommon. Okay. So, um, this is the uh, second booster on the left hand side. Cloudy Quartz, Apple. She's Apple, but she's the mother of Pink Amina, Diane Pie. It's the third Coco Bomb now. <laughs> Place it of Coco Pomelos after four boosters. Swan Song, Prim Posey, Cherry Fizzy. This is a very, I mean, he's five and four and needs three apple, but the fact that when he would be frightened, you may exhaust him instead, it's always saving you two points when it's on a troublemaker. Sapphire Shores, Hairpin Turn. Another whitewash. And the wear is learned lesson. Play to your home. When you score a problem's bonus points, banish the top card of your deck to beneath this card. Main face spend all cards and gain number of action tokens equals to the number of cards spend. So you can actually convert bonus points. Well, bonuses into that. So 
we got an Applejack Apple Vendor as an uncommon. So she is the uncommon main character. Amethyst Maresbury. She is from the Crystal Empire. And the High Ground as an uncommon. So, oh, I misplaced the wrong lessons. Here we go. Cheering up a friend, Hondo Flanks, Big Daddy, that is Rarity's dad, Second Sapphire Shores, Cookie Crumbles, and we have Doc Top, Pony Pediatrician, Shooting Star, another Hungry Hungry House Guest, and uh, Earth Pony Royal Guard, Arresting Officer is the Rare. And the third booster on the right hand side. Uh, when this card enters play at your home and opens with their hand, you may choose a friend card from their hand and this they discard that card. And we have a foil in this, it's Scootaloo Fan Club Founder. She is supportive plus one, meaning uh, she gets one power when, um, plus when you play her with Rainbow Dash, for example. When you move your main character to a problem, you may exhaust this card to move this card here. So if Rainbow Dash, as your main character, for example, moves to a problem, you can just exhaust it and move away into. Then we have Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot as an uncommon, which is very, very good. Love this uncommon. Applejack, Applebucker as an uncommon. And the Royal Cantaloupe Voice as an uncommon. Third booster. Third booster on the left hand side and starts with Jet Set and Upper Quest. A very fun, very fun Tobomaker, in my opinion. Um, because uh, players can challenge their Tobomaker unless they have at least three friends at this problem. For three friends, especially for example in a draft, to assemble three friends at one problem to challenge the Tobomaker is rather difficult because your main character is not a friend. The chicken costume. Oh, it goes here. Bagzale. The goof off as a problem. Another prim posy. Another rainbow blaze. Another cherry fizzy Star Wars soldier. And the rare is nice moves, kid. Um Draw a card for each action token your opponent has and discard the same number of cards. So if your opponent has like two action tokens left in your main phase, you play this and draw two cards and discard two cards. That's quite nice. And we have another foil and it's the Changeling Swarm in the foil. When you play this card to a problem, you may retire a token maker you control there to uncover this problem. So you can basically, if Jet Set other crust are putting like uh, making it hard for you to, uh, for, for your opponent to challenge the problem but he's right about to do it you play the changing swarm and retire jet set and upper crust to immediately turn the changing swarm princess celestia bringer of light is my first fluttershy uncommon ironically comforting critters is a problem and we have immediately the staring contest. <laughs> Very cute. Start a face off involving one of your friends and an opponent's friend with equal or greater power. At the end of the face off, the loser puts one of the friends that was involved into their owner's hand, so they have to play them again. And this could actually have two benefits, actually. You could you could actually try to lose that contest if you need that card back. So, um, I should start by uh, with a force booster on the right hand side to only show uh, cards I have not shown so far and the cloudy quartz I have shown already. So, then there's orange swell, 
greeting lots of folks with clout. And we have apple pumpkin. So cute. But not as cute as Liza Dulots. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. Rainbow Dash Goosebump Giver. We have this one. Um, out of control is a problem. And then we have the Brave and the Bold. An Applejack Rainbow Dash double card. The uh, picture one being one of the cutest of um, uh, Castlemania. And we have Lily Panicked Pony. Nothing to be afraid of. And a very, very strong uncommon. It is not on the list. Not on the list. Banishes a friend with two or less power, but it's a rarity card. Not an, uh, not a Pinkie Pie Dismiss card. It's a banish card, and banish means they don't come back. Ever. At least not so far. Fourth booster left hand side has Rumble, Fast Learner, Purple Waters, Silver Frames, Steamroller, we have this, Lemon Hearts, Four Step, and the rare is Bell Tower. Exhaust this card to uncover one of your Trollmakers. Basically that. It just uncovers a Trollmaker. Then we have Daisy, Mousy Mare, when this card is retired. So you put her out of play, not the opponent. You put her out of play. You put it in your hand instead of your discard pile. Lost of the Crystal Caves. And one of the best uncommons as well. Photo finish. This is photo finish. Yes. Yes, this pony, this pony was the first pony I really liked. I'm just saying. This is the first pony I liked. Because of Picture Perfect Pony. Gen Animations made me a brony. Well, started, made me, made me watch the show. So, made me a brony in the end. So, there it is. Fifth booster on the right hand side. So, Golden Harvest Beyond Her Garden, a card named like a song. We had her. Bed Rest. Sealed Scroll. This one. And the rare card is Rarity Element of Generosity. The element cards are all rather costly, all rather hard to play. Thunderclap is the uncommon. Combat Hat is the second uncommon, which is a very nice uncommon. And Comforting Critters, third uncommon, is a problem. So. This we have this. Uh, oops, we had this. 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 And we have this. So, in the uh, fifth booster on the right hand side, Goldie Delicious is the rare. Goldie Delicious, voice repeating in you. On comes a lily again. Magic Duel. Start a face off involving one of your friends and opponents, friends with equal greater power. Winner gains one. So, one action token. And another rarity token token. So. Sixth booster right hand side. Foggy Fleece, a card you can play from your grave or your discard pile. And 
that. Apple Bucking Day. Oh, what a beautiful day. Starry Eyes, Face Cutter. I don't know if we have him. Sprinkle Medley. We definitely did not have him. Compass Star. And another Jet Set and Apple Quest. And the rare six booster on the right hand side is to fast clip drill instructor pumped so you can pump him when you put a card under him spend a card from beneath this card to exhaust all characters at this card's problem so basically he exhausts and everything else exhausts and uh, so interesting actually hazy turner truck is the first uncommon Globe Trotter sites here is a second. And then we have Princess Luna Nightmare. She is also an uncommon found in the boxes with an alternate artwork. You know her. This is the normal artwork. Uh, six booster left hand side, lucky star, attitude and pizzazz, Zekoa, another jet set, and the rare is Pie Family Rock Farm. Um, this is a holy mine for everyone who plays Magic the Gathering, and it even says in the text. Most of the Pi family doesn't mind the howling winds while they mine. It's a howling mine. It's Vax and Fear right at home. Very nice. But the best thing is, look at the nice ultra rare. Sweetie Belle! It's the Sweetie Bot. Yes, I drew the Sweetie Bot. I already have the Sweetie Bot ironically. I traded in a, a draft uh, ultra rare from, uh, for a Sweetie Belle. So this is my second robot. I like it to have robots. Yay! Cypher Splash, first uncommon. Bottom of the Well, second uncommon. And another golden ticket. So, sixth booster, left hand side, had the auto rare. So, we start in this. We have this, we have this, we have this. We have this, we have this, we have this, we have this. So every um, common in the seventh booster on the left hand, on the right hand side I already had. Uh, the rare I already also had. It's uh, Dr. Hooves. Just in time. Isn't it fun? But there's also a foil angel. Serious business in this booster. Angel. Another high ground. And we have Eagle and another Princess Celestia Ring of Light. Oh. So. so the one thing we had for the fifth we had, and the one thing we had is a fucking day. So, uh, where on the, in the seventh person left hand side is cockatrice on the loose? It's a rare problem. And we have thunderclap, not on the list, and a wardrobe malfunction of the uncommons. So, uh, seven pools on the left hand side has a cheering up a friend and a fourth step for the first time. The rare is Plum Tuck It Out, which basically it costs one, and after an opponent plays or moves a character, exhausts a character. So, exhaust can't add that to the power. 
for example. But uh, it costs one instead of zero, which most of the other things did on that level. And we have uh, impress the inspector as a problem. And we have another Twilight Sparkle Gala Greeter and a major problem. We always have a major problem, don't we? The rare in the 7th booster on the uh, left hand side is Sasa Flash. When this card enters a problem, each player shuffles their deck and draws a card. This is weird. I don't remember seeing her before. And I saw it through the list a lot. Because that's not really, that's really not a bad card. Each player shuffles their decks and draws a card. Meaning. I mean, the opponent draws a card, but you can prevent a, uh, you know, them to, to set up their, their top by that. Uh, reformed, the uncommon. Another Cypher Flash. And we have a Fashion Week. This is a dual for a point card. So the uh, rare in the 8th booster on the right hand side is Welcome Wagon. Play an offend. After an opponent's friend enters play as a friend's form, you may retire this resource to exhaust the played friend. It's rather expensive actually for 5. Pony of Shadows, Uncommon Tollmaker, is uh, my first uncommon problem maker of all the boosters I opened. Another Amethyst Mavesbury. And uh, this, this is a very strong card for Applejack. Apple Cider. Play on a friend. While that friend is at a problem, that problem has zero bonus points. So no bonus points to be gained by rarity and truly, extraordinary, uh, truly outrageous or anything else. Many war in the eighth booster on the uh, left hand side and perfect pace time master. <laughs> One of the cutest cards ever. Aura, really rambunctious. She's so cute. She's random and the variety of mission this little filly gets into is practically endless. Look at her. She's so cute. This is such a cute card. Then we have Raccoon, Foggy Fleece, and we have a Golden Harvest, but we have Rainbow Dash, Element of Loyalty, as the rare. Yes. Uh, private Party, Apple Cider, and Social Obligations, Uncommon Problem. That was the 8th person on the left hand side, by the way. Ninth booster on the right hand side, Storming the Villain's Lair. See how it scroll? And Crash Course. The rare is the hard way. Challenge an opponent's face up Tome Maker with all your characters as a problem. So it basically challenges the Tome Maker in the main phase. That is really nice. Fluttershy, Critter Caregiver. Critter friends don't count to your home limit. Lost in the Crystal Caves 
and very startling. Our friends with a power of zero are dismissed. Printed power, not actual power. Shooting star, I don't know if we had shooting star. We did not have yet a chick beret. This is the fifth chick beret. And we never had Twilight Velvet Proud Mom. The rare is Princess Mi Amore Cadenza. Pay four to dismiss an opponent's friend. This card is sent to their friend's controller's home and they gain control of it. It's a it's a, a difficult card to play. And then there's a foil Applejack Applebucker who is an uncommon. We have a uncommon to make a red dragon. We have another lily and another royal catalog voice. Ah, Fleur de Lee in the 10th booster on the uh, right hand side. The uh, little stand again. The rare is Chief St Thunder Hooves. Chief Thunder Hooves. And I have a foil shining armor, which is a rare as we know, because that was the first rare I drew. Uncommons are Octavia, Impressive Inspector, and Very Startling. The rare in the 10th uh, booster on the left hand side is Penny Lane, bowl them over and I'm actually considering playing her. When this card enters play, you may retire one of your friends to give an, gain a number of action tokens equal to that friend's cost. Plus I'm playing uh, Pinkie Pie anyway. Threat against Cantalot, Eagle, and anything I can do to help. Okay, 11th booster right hand side sees the first snail, steep thinker. Here we go. Um, and we see a Sasa flash striking as the rare. We have her already, but we see Princess Celestia, protector of Equestria as the ultra rare. This card gets plus one power when uh, at a problem with an, uh, when it enters play at a problem with an opponent problem maker, challenge that trouble maker. This is one of the best ultra rares and definitely a very strong ultra rare for any um, for any uh, Fluttershy deck actually. Private Party, Globe Trotter, and the first Prince Blue Blood. So, two ultra rares, there should not be another ultra rare in here. Oh, some Percy second yellow card. Look at that. So. Uh, the rare card here. And the... Uh, 11th or 12th booster on the left hand side. I think 11th booster. Or yeah, 11th booster on the left hand side. Too many Pinkie Pies. No such thing as too many Pinkie Pies. The uncommon is Frown Town. 
So also a pinky pie problem. Um, pair confirmed problem. Can pull a friend? Uh, otherwise, Discord problem. This is interesting. Daisy Mousy Mare. And another threat against Cantalot. Uh, we can check if it's one, two, three, four, five. There's six here. Six, meaning twelve left. No, that was the twelfth boot on the left hand side, so this is the thirteenth booster on the right hand side. Oh, what's old is new again. I like this wear. Um, until the end of the phase, you may play friends and resources from your discard pile. If a friend or resource would enter the discard pile, the phase banish it instead. Banish this card. Um, this is basically a Yagmat's will. Love this card. Um, another Hayseed. The Cantalot Archives. And another Biff Pow. So, 13th booster on the left side. Oh, 13th booster on the left side sees a Fiery Temper. This is a card you play it on a Tome Maker, and the Tome Maker has two plus two power. I like it. And a Mrs. Cake. The um, rare here is Blossom, Blossom Forth, too flexible. During a phase of involvement this card, you would put a flip friend card on the bottom of your deck and an entire the card and play two to put that friend into play at this card's problem instead. So she basically can, uh, in a face off, um, after a face off, she can replace herself for two with any of the friends you uh, uncovered at the face off. And we have another Rainbow Dash hanging out. An Eagle. And the Royal Dress Rehearsal as the Uncommons. So sorry, camera cut off. It was full. I forgot to delete. We can go on. Fourteenth booster on the uh, on the left uh, on the right hand side. Yes, that is correct. Fourteen booster on the right hand side has a Twilight Cane. Twilight Cane, one of the most discussed cards when it came out. We have uh, another Fluttershy Critter Caregiver. We have a Fluttershy Friend and Animals main character card, and we have Funny Glasses. Funny glasses, here we go. Turns everything pink. These uh, rare card in the 14th booster on the left hand side is You've Been Up All Night. Put an exhaustive friend on top of its owner's deck. For three bucks. Whoa. That is, for three points, that is really expensive. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and foil. Uncommon. Ancient research. Fluttershy with a caregiver. And a rose lock. card in this one uh, is cheese sandwich and we have a chief thunder hooves and foil which is also rare another hoof wrestling another cantalot archives and another octavia
they were in the 15th booster on the left hand side nurse redhead nothing to be afraid of as an uncommon octavia as an uncommon and another princess luna nightmare as an uncommon They were in this one is the food bread roundup. And the uncommons are funny glasses, pony of shadows, and dark dank dungeon. The uh, rare card in the 16th booster on the left hand side is Fluttershy, Element of Kindness. Along comes a Monstrous Cave, Fashion Week, and Joe's Donut Job. The rare in this booster is Sunset Shimmer. When this card is uncovered, you may pay three. If you do, banish an opponent find a resource to beneath this card. When this card leaves play or is turned face down, put a card beneath it into their owner's hand. There's a Scooter the Fan Club founder. She is an uncommon. Add another Daisy Mousy Mare. And another Photo Finish. Photo Finish! As I call her, Flash and Flash is Bonnie. Photo finish. No. The rare in this card is Train Tracks. The uncommon is reformed. Bottom of the well. And another staring context. This was the se uh, 17th booster on the left hand side. Now, final booster, right hand side. Where is Changeling Infiltrator? And there is a golden harvest in foil. We have another rose walk. We have another social obligations. And the thing I can do to help. Times, man. Can stay where they are. Final booster, 18th on the left side. We have uh, an Eep as a rare, and we have a Cantalot Archive Guard as a foil. That is not an auto race, so only two auto race in this display, as always. Wardrobe Malfunction, Found Town, and another Globetrotter Sightseer. So the first display is done, but there's another one. And so far I'm satisfied really. I got a Sweetie Bell and I got a uh, really good auto wear with a Celestia. And I like Sweetie Bell. I really do. And we're just gonna skip every common now. 
the way it's a very free for all young comes Jill donut shop cypher flash and magic duo was the first on the right hand side the rare here is too much fun uncommons hoof wrestling threat against cancel lot and another eagle yeah Catalot archive guard is in fact a rare since i'm pulling it right here and there's a royal Catalot voice which is an uncommon in foil we have a changeling swarm uncommon scootaloo and wild west rehearsal that was the sec booster on the right hand side so the rare is uh, welcome wagon again and the uh, foil is lily panic pony uncommon side apple cider pony of shadows and dark dank dungeon that was the second booster on the left hand side where is nice moves kit uncommons red dragon rock paper scissors shoot and applejack third booster right hand side where here another shining armor social obligations frown tone and daisy as the uncommons that was the third boost on the left hand side where changeling infiltrator uncommon changeling swarm and finally the new pinkie pie her she is important new main character right here and a major problem that was a fourth booster on the right hand side the rare is hoity toity fashion critic uncommons known globetrotter private party and apple cider another rainbow dash element of loyalty and the uncommons are royal cat of a voice scootaloo and daisy so the uh, rare here is joe the donutier and another foil it's fluttershy with a caregiver she's an uncommon anything i could do to help thunderclap and not on the list that was the fifth booster on the left hand side so the rare here is Sue's the savage beast play on an opponent non-epic troublemaker that troublemaker loses and can't gain abilities during the troublemaker phase yeah. there's a foil octavia and we have a stale staring contest a rose lock and a combat hat that was a six booster on the right hand side foot bed roundup where in the six booster on the left hand side and then there's rose lock social obligations and anything i can do to help rare here is pipsqueak uncommons are rarity dragon charmer daisy mousy mare and lock lost in the crystal caves rare here is minuet clocked up uncommons are i got a golden ticket nothing to be afraid of and another octavia that was the seven booster on the left hand side the rare here is the pie family rock farm uncommons are wild candle of voice monstrous cave and fashion week that was the eighth booster on the right hand side rare here is snips and snails problem solvers uncommons a staring contest the new rarity and bottom of the well that was the eighth booster on the left the rare here is the sun and the moon it's the celestia and luna double card and there's a foil go feed that 
could be a rare since I haven't seen it in the uncommon so far and now uncommons we have seen it so Kofit should be a rare photo finish I got a golden ticket and Amethyst Marysbury so here we got Pinkie Pie Element of Laughter and the Element of Magic Complete Magic is the ultra rare also one of the stronger ones Uncommons of Fashion Week, Wardrobe Malfunction, and Frown Town. That was Night Booster on the left hand side. The Cantalot Hedge Maze is the rare. And we have Prince Blue Blood, Ancient Research, and Rock Paper Scissors Shoot. The rare here is Snooty Boutique, and we have a wardrobe, wardrobe malfunction, so Princess Celestia and Comforting Critters as the young ones. Tenth booster on the left hand side. The rare is Twilight Sky, when an opponent moves a friend to this card's problem. The upper may pay one. If they don't exhaust that friend, that is much better, much better than the other one. Joe's Donut Shop, Reformed, and Bottom of the Well on the Uncommons. With the 11th booster on the right hand side. We have What's Old is New again, again. And a Foyer Princess Miyamura Cadenza. Um, Private Party, Globe Trotter, and Prince Blue Blood on the Uncommons. That was the 11th boost on the left hand side. So we have uh, the Cantalot Archive Guard as a rare, and the Element of Kindness as the auto rare. We must come to a Fluttershy to play this card. Applejack, Applebucker, Lily, and Magic Duel. We have another Chief Thunder Hooves and uh, Hasty Tony Trout, Cantalot Archives, and Biff Pow. That was the 12th booster on the left hand side. We have a Snips Schemer and uh, World's Lock, Biff Pow, and Rarity. As the as the uh, uncommon, another shining armor, and we have Octavia, uh, Impressive Inspector, and very startling. That was the thirteenth uh, booster on the left hand side, I think. Yes, 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 it was. We have another Eep. And we have the Royal Dress Rehearsal, the Red Dragon, and the Lily as the Uncommon. So we have uh, Sasa Flash as the Rare, and we have another Golden Harvest in Foil. We have Funny Glasses as the Uncommon, Major Problem as the Uncommon, and the Threat Against uh, Candlelight as the Uncommon in the 14th booster on the left hand side. So in the 15th post on the right hand side, we have Goldie Delicious and a Foil Lily. And as the Uncommons, very startling, Globe Trotter you know, and Hasty Turnit Truck. So here we have Rarity Element of Generosity, Pony of Shadows, Amethyst Marysbury, and another Funny Glasses as the Uncommons. 15th booster on the left hand side that was. We have another Sasa Flash, Photo Finish, Fluttershy, 
and lost in the crystal case in the 16th booster on the right hand side. We have a cheese sandwich again, uh, thunderclap, combat hat, and comforting critter in the 16th booster on the left hand side. We have a cantalot archive guard and a foil mini war. And uh, Eagle, Threat Against Cantalot, and Threat Against Cantalot actually twice in this booster, in the 17th booster on the right hand side. We have Big Mac, Biggest Brother, and a Foil Roselock, Thunderclap, Reformed, and Cypher Flash in the uh, 17th booster on the left hand side. Only two boosters left. We have a spike system librarian and the high ground. Uh, is this actually? Probably is. Um, ancient research and another Fluttershy as the uncommons. And the 18th booster on the right hand side. This is the last booster. And there's the Twilight Cane again. And we have a Hoof Wrestling. Cantalot Archives and an Octavia. 18th booster left hand side, that was it. So, as predicted, four ultra rares, not one more. I do not draw more than two ultra rares per display. Should, oops, I knocked the microphone. Should switch sellers, actually, because this is ridiculous. I keep only drawing two and everyone else is drawing three. This is really weird. Um, the ultra rays are the element of kindness, the element of magic, um, Princess Celestia, and the one I actually want and love, Sweetie Belle Doting Sister. These are the four ultra rays. Um, since I am drawing very well in ultra rays and other packs, everything that is not in the display but single packs, um, I'll be satisfied. I like her. It's my second one. And it's very likely that I will trade all three of those away to get uh, the other Ultra Rays I want, which are Vinyl Scratch, um, Pinkie Pie, uh, Cloney Pie, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants, that's the one. And a uh, Flutter Bat. Those are the four I actually want. So, yeah, that was it. Um, otherwise, let's see. The display has a very even stretch, actually. Um, the uncommons are very heavy on Apple, very weak on uh, Twilight Sparkle, on Magic. Generosity actually wins. Generosity has more uh, uncommons than anything else here. Commons, well, you get... Uh, all the commons in one and so I am very much stacked here yeah so um, this will be interesting uh, we have a tournament on Saturday we're gonna see how I'm going to play and um, yeah I'm uh, gonna sort this out and then probably you know just um, see what I can trade away for the cards I want and everything else I will sell to buy the cards I want. So it uh, proves to get a base, commons, uncommons and so on. Um, buying this place is okay for me, but to get auto rares I should just buy the auto rares, basically. Uh, yeah, that was it. That was me opening my two displays. Um, what do you think about the new edition? It's, it's spread a little bit more especially in the uncommons, with the uncommon problems, it has rare problems, you know, and all that stuff, which is new. And the new Applejack I drew once, the new Rarity I drew once, the new Fluttershy I drew once, I drew uh, the new Rainbow twice, I think. Yeah, once. once. I drew the new Rainbow once, and the new Pinkie Pie once. So in two displays, only one each. So, except for Twilight Sparkle, basically, which has it twice. This is they they are not they might be uncommon but they're rare for an uncommon. 
and that makes sense in any way. So, yeah, that's it. Um, we are gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be deck building for the next two days with what I have, and uh, then we're gonna see if we're gonna draft on Saturday, which I would like, or if we're gonna play constructed on Saturday, which I would not like as much. And um, yeah, we're gonna see how this turns out in the end. Uh, I heard there's a new edition coming in the end of uh, end of summer and one before Christmas. That's too much, too many. I can't uh, buy displays of those all the time. So basically this reduces me to a casual player again. You know, I'm not, not a tournament player. This is a casual game anyway. So, But um, this is reducing me to probably not even buying displays anymore probably gonna be that you know if we draft that's okay but everything else I don't have the money for that much for that many copies anyway I hope you learned something from the unboxing aside from my horrible luck at drawing cards <laughs> and uh, I am uh, I'm okay we're gonna see each other whenever we see each other and I'm looking forward to gaming against you okay so keep calm burning on and bye